10 years ago, our guy's life in Banjo wasn't easy. Still, he had both his parents, a wife, a home, and a dream of making a better life for them all in Europe. Now, the 34 year old who asked that his full name not be used to project his privacy has lost much of what he had. He left Gambia in 2014, taking the irregular back way to Europe before he was forcibly returned eight years later. I wanted the best for my wife and future children, he told Al Jazeera about his decision to leave, looking sadly at the wedding photo on his wall. Although still married, he can't afford to support his wife and their moon, 10 month old baby, forcing her to return to her parents' home. You see, this is a case of many Africans. And you see, as a concerned Africa, African, when I see news like this, it simply shows that our leaders have failed us. Because if after spending eight years and being brought or deported back to Gambia without nothing, even he came back to square zero because he sold off some of the things he had and he is still determined to go back to Europe at all costs. What does he tell you? He tells you simply that the level of hopelessness is increasing, is becoming worse day by day. It shows you that the desperation is becoming too much. Because if a man of 34 years old said, I will die trying, so what does he tell you? This is many cases of many Africans who are stranded in many countries trying to move to Europe or trying to move to various countries in search of better lives. Some are even stranded. Some have even lived in Europe, in America, in Australia, 10 years, 15 years, 5 years. Some are unlucky. They are being deported without nothing back to their various countries. In some situations, some people will even want to go back. But the shame they are going to face some of them, their family will start mocking them, saying they are not do well. This one went there, he came back or she came back, blah, 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 blah. Some of them, if they have some capital, they will even rather go back and restart their life rather than, rather than living illegally here, rather than hiding from the authorities here. So it is high time that our African leaders should make the lives of their citizens count and how they are going to remove their garment of ego, their garment of selfishness, their garments of intensification of power and put their continents first and put their people first because how many youths are still going to leave the shores of Africa and return like this? How many youths of Africa are going to die in the Mediterranean Sea before our leaders will do the right thing? How many leaders, how many youths in Africa will sell off everything they want to return back empty handed to their countries? It is high time our leaders start manning up, start doing the right thing, investing in infrastructures, restoring hopes. We need leaders in Africa that will restore hope back in their fellow countries that will restore hope in African continent by providing jobs, by investing in our health system, by investing in education, by creating jobs, by making sure that our natural resources are being sold in international market based on international price, not by the price of the imperialists who are still putting chains on them. It is high time our leaders start negotiating that every natural resources every foreign international company is coming into our country to explore our natural resources that we have 80 or 85 percent right to it. what comes out of it that is why you see that all these four young leaders in africa are sick and tired of all this seeing all this that is why you see that they rose up to the occasion even though i still have my perception because sometimes you have to be very careful so that you don't use one devil to chase out one devil and later that other devil you use in chasing the other one will now become mightier than you. So it is high time Africa called Unite.
African leaders put their heads together, share ideas. It's better for us to sell these natural resources at cheaper rates to our neighboring countries, to our fellow African nations, to help them collectively we can progress together. If we decide and if we progress together, it means an Africa will emerge that the West won't be able to contend with. It means that an Africa will emerge where white people will be seeking asylum. It means that an Africa will emerge where our continent will no longer be a harvest ground for these people when they need skilled workers. It means that an Africa will emerge that these people will not reform their immigration reforms when they think that their populations are declining for we to come and have children they will use in the future so that it will not affect their population and their economy.